Hello friends, thought I'd uh, show you what I got in the mail the other day, uh, this week. Uh, I got my little piece of lint there, got my scuff plates that goes on your door handle. Now I know this truck, this 57 Chevy truck ain't much to look at, but I always like a little dash of chrome here and there just to make it look, I don't know, I just like it, I don't know why. But I do. It kind of dresses it up a little bit more. I know their door handles look are pitted and stuff, but I kind of like that look. Call me strange or whatever you want to call me, but I'm kind of working on a budget over here, as I've said. And so uh, I just like a little dash of chrome here and there. I'm, I'm still looking for used chrome bumpers. If somebody would ever like to donate or <laughs> give them to me whatever chrome bumpers for 57 chevy truck okay getting back to this this should be relatively easy even for someone like me i'm going to show you what i'm going to do here okay i got me a marker let's see there's one in that's real thin i think this is it okay i'm going to Try to mark my holes. I don't know if you can see this or not. I can't really see using my wife's phone here. I'm gonna try to mark these holes with this this here marker. And then I'm gonna try to drill the holes out with these screws that they provide. And I got these, once again, I got these on eBay. And uh, I've been looking at them for a while, but all of a sudden this popped up and it was the cheapest I could find uh, on eBay with free shipping. Now, I gotta tell you, these people that sell parts for these cars and trucks, uh, they're awful proud of them. And like I said, this was the cheapest I could find. And this was like 30, 30 bucks free shipping. Now, a lot of them you see on eBay, the price is real low, but you got to look real carefully because they get you on the shipping and they make up for it that way. So I told my wife, I said, this is the cheapest I've found. Uh, and I've been looking for quite a while since I've had this truck. And so it, patience kind of uh, worked out for me on this and finally got some. And you kind of save up a little bit and get a little bit here and there. And pretty soon you got nearly everything you need. I'm gonna pause this a minute and drill these holes out and we'll see what comes comes up then. See you in just a second. Okay, I got this side on. I drilled a couple of holes with uh, that I had marked with my marker, put the screws in, it was provided. And uh, it went on relatively, relatively good. I had to, there's another piece of metal or something behind here. I had to go a little bit further on my drilling. And when you do this kind of stuff, I always start out with a small, small drill bit but you can always go bigger with the hole i mean when you're drilling because uh, if you start out too big uh chances are the screws ain't going to work and they won't hold on to whatever piece you're going to put it in but i'll do the other side and i'll get right back with you hang on okay boys and girls i've believe it or not someone like me done this all by itself to me, it looks so much better and kind of dresses it up a little bit. Now, I know it don't really look that this is all new. And, uh, of course, this is my handles are pitted and stuff, but that's fine. I've had four, four 57 Chevy trucks, and I always do this same thing. I try to put a little dash of chrome here and there and try to make it look a little bit better. As you can see, I'm trying to do this in the shade where you can see it a little bit better. Got the new door mirrors and uh, got this gas cap, lots of new little things here and there, wipers, headlight bezels, turn signals, cleaned up the grill some, I'm not done with it, and a new antenna, and a, just a little dash of chrome here and there, a little bit on, on the wheels, exhaust tips, new tail light uh, brackets and the, the tail lights themselves with the wiring 
and uh, just a little splash of chrome here and there. It seems to kind of dress it up a little bit. Let's stand back and look at it a little bit better. Oh yeah, I like that much better. And you know, it doesn't cost that much. But like I said, I'm on a limited budget, so I just do a little bit here and there, pick at it, and sooner or later, you know, if you save your money and uh, watch your choices at the grocery store and stuff, why you can you can afford stuff like this. Like I said, I I know these parts for any of these old trucks and cars are are pretty expensive. They're awful proud of them, but. If you're willing to wait and be a little bit patient, like I was on a lot of this stuff, uh, you can do it too. And like I said, I'm, I'm on a budget and I'm married, so priorities have to come first. And this is just a, a little bit of a sideline thing for me just to play around with. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video when I went to the cruise in. So... Please leave me a comment, subscribe if you'd like to. I really would appreciate it. And don't forget, I'm looking for some used chrome bumpers, front and back for a 57 Chevy Stepside. And I'll see you later.